Hello YouTube, this is a how not to fix your iPad video. That's right, you heard me correctly, YouTube. This is my iPad, I love this thing. And as you can see, the screen is cracked. So we're gonna repair it. The first thing you have to do is put tape on the screen. So we're gonna tape it up so that you don't get hurt. And that is very important. And once we get it all taped up, at least that will prevent all the little pieces of glass from uh, getting into your hands and fingers and cutting you all up. Safety is the primary concern here. And so this is a good step. So the next step in the process is to loosen up that glue that holds the glass to the aluminum frame so we're gonna heat it up you could use a heat gun I used a hair dryer here uh, you want to make sure that you touch the screen like I'm doing in the video to make sure that the uh, glue is off now using some pry tools now with the glass they gave me some plastic pry tools and here is the first mistake I make and I'm using a metal pry tool and I'm trying to get that glass uh, loose and it's very difficult it's all shattered so um, little pieces are coming off of there I lifted up the uh, as you can see the, the safety tape that I put on there and I'm trying to get in there and it's just coming apart and the glue is not really coming up you can see the little pieces of glass and these are uh, they'll cut you as you can see there, you see that? They're very sharp. So anyway, you try to use these, uh, try to use the picks, they're almost like guitar picks, to lift the glass up, and uh, they weren't working well. So I went in with the, with the uh, steel uh, pry, pry tool that I have there, and uh, just trying to lift this up out of here carefully, and folks, it's not easy. So. Here I am trying with the little plastic tools. They really don't do the job. Um, perhaps I didn't heat it enough. Maybe that's the case. Uh, then I try the, uh, the the other tool, and you can see here I'm struggling even with that tool, and I'm probably uh, hurting the digitizer there. And here's where I think the digitizer cracked. And you see I'm putting some strength there, and there I go, and I'm trying to lift this up. Trying to lift it up, and you got to be careful because again, you're, it's all glass now. Here's the other mistake I make. There is ribbons on the other side, on the back side. I'm working on the front of the uh, iPad or on the side of the iPad that I'm working on. See here now. This is where I think I broke the digitizer. I'm putting a lot of strength here. I'm twisting it, and I'm probably cracking it right behind there. And then, um, then here's the other mistake. So. I, I'm kind of ripping, I kind of rip the glass out of there. And there's, uh, there are ribbons to the uh, button, obviously. And there's some ribbons that tie the, the glass digitizer to the LCD. And you'll see when I get back there. And so you gotta be very careful. I should have been wearing gloves. So that's another mistake. So I'm pointing out all the mistakes so you don't make them. And so that you actually see, uh, you can, I'm going to put out a video when I get the, the two pieces, uh, the digitizer that I broke and the glass. I'm going to put them on you. See here I ripped it out and there's a little piece hanging there. So I just ripped this glass off of there with everything that's connected in the background there. So that's not what you want to do. But the glass did come out. I was kind of happy about that. Threw it on the side. This is the other mistake I made. I should at this point, when you do... Uh, remove the uh, glass what you got to do at this point here folks is you have to remove the digitizer there's four screws holding it down and I started working on just cleaning uh, the the glue and the glass off the aluminum frame here that's not exactly what we want to do here what you want to do here at this point when you uh, actually before you even rip the uh, the glass, the shattered glass, before you even rip that out of there, you lift it up out of the way and you then um, 
And here I am taking some gla little glass pieces off the digitizer, but I think it's too late at this point. But anyway, I don't know that I, when I'm doing this part of the video. Again, using a lot of strength here with the digitize with the LCD. Uh, um, still, still uh, attached to the aluminum frame, and it's only four screws that you needed to, that I needed to take out, but uh, I didn't. So, and this is why uh, at the end of the video you'll see what happens. I don't want to spoil it for you, but uh, so here I am taking off little pieces of it. So I clean up the frame. Continue to clean up the frame here. Now it's time to remove the LCD panel and you can see there's four screws on each corner. They're tiny screws so keep them uh, close by. You can see them right there. Just take them off and this is what I should have done at the very beginning before I cleaned off the frame or anything else. You take these four screws, you take the LCD out, uh, you disconnect it from the main board and then you should be okay. So this is this was one of my mistakes. I should have done this step here at the very beginning. And you'll see when I remove the LCD here, the, it's attached. There are three screws holding the LCD panel with a ribbon. It's like a little shield, little metal shield, and there's three little screws there. And uh, you got to remove those. Those are really tiny screws. They're all the same size. So the four screws that hold the LCD panel are larger. These three that hold this little shield uh, are smaller screws, tiny screws. And they come off and then the LCD panel comes off. And this is what I should have done um, before I ripped the digitizer glass piece off. So that's uh, a learning experience, folks. This is something I'm teaching you how to do now. So you could learn from my mistakes. There's the LCD panel. Uh, should do that first. And here I'm just cleaning up here now. Um, this is the ribbon that, uh, that uh, whole, that's connected to the digitizer. There's three connectors there. That's one, that's the second one, and then there's a ribbon cable that uh, you have to take a little piece of tape off as you can see there. A little piece of tape holding it and then there's like a little doorway you kind of lift up and the ribbon that I ripped off from the uh, digitizer uh, comes off. You see that little flap comes up and then it just pops out of there. And that's the same way you put it back now. Now uh, we just put it back. Fast forward this, and then you just uh, connect it back. You see the little white line there that tells you you're good. And once you see that line there, you just close the little flap. I took a little bit more time in here. I was trying to push it in, and it doesn't go any further than that white line there. So I just want to make sure it was, it was in there. And then you, um, once you got that in there, there's a little piece of tape in the back. You gotta make sure these connectors uh, for the digitizer are um, in there correctly. Once you put that in, then you put uh, a little piece of tape. The the glass that I bought on eBay was really good. Then you put uh, once you got the little ribbon in there, you put the tape back where it was. Here I'm using a camera lens cleaner to clean off the LCD panel. There were still little bits of uh, glass from the uh, digitizer uh, still on the uh, LCD panel. So I use that and it goes back the same way. There's the three little screws and this is kind of tight. You want to make sure that these little screws line up and it's a little shield that you're putting back and it's attached to the LCD panel. And so I'm putting it back here. So these are the tiny screws, the real tiny screws. Uh, all in all, there are three little screws here that hold uh, the LCD panel. Uh, they hold the shield for the LCD panel there. 
and then there's the four screws, the larger screws that hold the LCD in place. Uh, now, uh, now to, to finally put the glass on, there is adhesive uh, that this glass came with. I'm not sure if all the glasses are the same, uh, all the digitized glasses are the same, but this one here came with uh, a plastic uh, coating around the edges uh, which you have to take off and that's what I'm doing here I'm picking at the uh, plastic because there's adhesive around the black uh, frame of the glass and that's what holds the glass to the aluminum case so it's uh, it's this glass I mean I, th I thought that was a good idea because it uh, you know I thought I was gonna have to use double-sided tape to hold the glass down but in this case uh, you just remove this adhesive stuff. I cleaned off the glass, uh, digitized it before putting everything back together, and uh, I thought I was done. I thought this was beautiful. Uh, everything uh, went smooth, or so I thought, except for the points that I pointed out early in the video. The glass goes in there nice and snug, and that was pretty much it. Then uh, you remove the uh, plastic coating off the front of it and looks beautiful except for that if you like what you saw please subscribe